Hi, my name is Vinod Kumar Das. By profession, I am a technical instructor for 3D animation and visual effects. Today, I am going to teach you to create a female face in 3D. And the softest I am going to deal with are Photoshop and Maya. Before getting into creating face modeling, I assume that you have basic understanding of Maya and its user interface. In beginner level, to create face, we require reference images. Let's bring our reference images that are in our project file in this DVD menu into Photoshop. To match the reference images, bring any one of the image side or front into the other file as shown and match the eye, nose, lips level using rulers. and check it up till you are fully satisfied that the reference images are matched. Now save them as front and side reference images respectively in the same folder that is in our DVD menu. For this time I have created this folder in the desktop where I am saving these images. Now the exciting journey of face modeling begins. Hooray! Save the images as JPG. Now start Autodesk Maya and start a new scene. Now go to Windows setting and preferences, preferences, open attribute editor, check in into separate window and save. Before getting into creation, we sh should first set up our project folder which helps us a lot to maintain our projects in better way. To do that, go to file, project, new and then come whole bunch of options. But for now we have already created a folder where we have kept our reference image planes in desktop. So go to file, project, set and choose the folder female face modeling in desktop and hit ok. Click on view image plane import image browse the re front reference image file from the folder and then hit ok and then go to side viewport and browse the side reference image plane from the reference image folders and save. Now in front viewport go to view image plane, import image plane attributes and in attribute editor go to placement extras center. From this menu we are going to set our reference image plane in the direction where from the front viewport it remains the same and in perspective it proceeds behind so that while modeling in perspective this image plane doesn't becomes our hurdle and in front viewport it seems as if it is being in same position and I will repeat the same thing for the side viewport also by checking the axis where it is going to be moving backwards. After this save the file. Now enlarge your front viewport and check whether the image plane is in the center of the viewport or not. And we can see that our attribute editor is opening in the same window and is creating our space, eating up our space, working area. So go to setting and preference, windows, setting and preferences, preferences. Open attribute editor and click on in separate window and 
then save it. By doing this, we can see that when we go to image plane, image plane attributes, image plane, the attribute editor is opening in a separate window and not eating up our working area. By this, we can minimize it or maximize any time we want and then go to placement extras and see that the axis which we want to move is x axis and then type minus 0.100 and close. Now the image plane is exactly in the center where we exactly want them and now we don't require the grids so go to so grid off in front and side viewport respectively. Now let's get started of for modeling this face. For this we should remember that our polygon menu is on and then go to mesh 